Hello, welcome to another episode of Wicked Easy Cooking. My name is Chef Colin Roach, and today we've got a classic for you. We're doing fish a la miniere. Now, miniere means the miller's wife, and basically it just means with flour. It's a re good reason why it's a classic, because it is quick, easy, and perfectly paired for a mild flavored fish. You know, it's not going to have a heavy coating on it, a lot of, you know, strong sauces that'll take away from the delicate flavor of that fish. Now, classically, it's with sole, sole meniere, right? Or, you know, something really delicate like that. But you can make it with any type of fish, seen in our menus with a lot. Because we're here in Florida and snapper is everywhere, we're going to make it with some snapper. You can use yellowtail, red snapper, vermilion, lane snapper, any type of snapper that you want because it's a pretty mild fish. Okay, and we're just going to dredge the fillets in some seasoned flour and then we're going to saute it really quick in some butter and oil. And then what happens is we're going to make a quick pan sauce, beurre noisette. Now, beurre is the French word for butter. Noisette means brown butter. Noisette means hazelnut. So when we toast the butter, it's going to get you know, a little bit brown. It's going to get a nutty flavor and aroma to it. And that's no noisette. You can also go beurre noir, which is black butter. We don't want that. That goes with some other dishes. Usually it has an acid in it and something. But for this one, it's just going to be noisette. And we're going to put a little parsley on it because that's what it classically has. And lemon juice. And that's it. So I would buy my fillets, you know, already done, ready to go and have them. Or fillet your own fish. And I have videos showing you how to do that. And I'll link it up here or here, wherever it is. I'll put a link to how to fillet a fish in case you're interested. But you can certainly just ask your fishmonger or your grocery store and get fillets. Any type of fillet would work in this. You could use pompano, tilapia, something mild would be good. So I have the recipe here, which I will post at the end of this video, as well as down in the comments section. If you want to try this at home, it's easy to do, but it's very quick. So I suggest you have all of your sides done, whatever you're going to serve it with. I have some rice over here and some vegetables. And then I would even have your plate set up, have your fillets, have all of your ingredients ready to go. So when you cook it, you're going to take it off, put it right on the plate, make the quick brown butter and put it on the plate and serve it. It's going to be pretty fast. So, you know, you don't want it to sit around because it is fish. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want it to get greasy. So let's get started. Okay, in the recipe, I'm going to put clarified butter or oil. I'm going to actually use both. I want a little olive oil in here, and then I'm going to use some clarified butter. But if you don't have clarified butter, just use oil. But don't use whole butter. Whole butter is not really good for sauteing because it has milk solids in it. Okay, it has the milk. So if you've ever cooked with butter before and overcooked it, it gets brown really quick and then it goes black which is not something we want for the cooking process. It is what we're going to use for our sauce because we want that nutty, brown, toasty flavor and color to put on our fish. But to saute it, we need something with a higher heat or smoke point so that it won't burn while we're kind of frying the fish a little bit or sauteing it. So what many people use, especially restaurants, is to clarify the butter. That way there you still get the flavor of the butter and the color, but it doesn't burn on you because we've removed the milk solids. How you do that is you just heat up the butter and then what will happen is the emulsification will break and it will separate. The oil will float to the top okay, and the milk solids will go down to the bottom. And then we can just scoop off the clarified butter right, and get rid of those milk solids. You may get a little foam on the top. That's some impurities, salt, things like that. Won't hurt you. I usually just skim it off, but it's fine if you leave it in there. Easy way to do it is to do it in advance. Okay, put it on the heat, let it separate, pour it into a container, put it into your refrigerator. Overnight, the, the clarified butter will solidify, and then you can just remove it, and the milk solids will be liquid, and you just pour those off. So it's an easy way to do it. So here I've done two sticks of butter already. So you can see this here in the pan, you have the two sticks. And then I've just heated those up till they, you know, separate. And now it's just been sitting. So you can see here in the pan, we have the 
butter that has floated to the surface and underneath it we have the white and on top we have a little bit of that foam. So hard to see in the pan, so I have a clear container here. I thought I would pour it in slowly so you could see the separation. Now when you are heating, you don't want to boil it rapidly because it just gets all mixed in. You just want to heat it and let it melt and then let it slowly separate. So when I pour it in here, it's going to get a little bit mixed, but hopefully we'll still get to see it. Okay, that's pretty much all clarified butter. It's a little cloudy, so it still has a little bit of milk solids in it, but now you're going to see the bottom part here. It's very white, and here it comes. Okay, you'll see the white, and it should go to the bottom. See the white going in? That's the milk. I call it milk solids, but it's the milk that's in the butter. Okay, you can see it here a little bit on the bottom, separating. You see right here at the bottom of this, that's the white, that's the milk solids. As we let this sit, it's going to clarify even more, and it's not going to be cloudy, because in suspension in here is those little milk solids which are going to fall out of suspension, they'll go to the bottom, and the oil will rise to the top. And this is the yellow, this is what we want. So I'm just going to let this sit off to the side, and we're going to use a little bit of this to saute our fish here in just a second. But Clarified butter, as I mentioned, great thing to have on hand. You know, just do this process, save this, put it in the fridge, lasts you know, months, just like regular butter. And then whenever you're going to be sauteing or cooking something and you want the flavor of that butter, use this and you're not going to get that burning from the milk. Okay, so I have my pan here. It's already been on medium heat, so it's warmed up. And I have our fish fillets and I have our flour here. So we're going to dredge this and we're going to saute up this fish. All right, so first thing we want to do is season our fillets. Okay, I'm only going to cook a couple of them here for this demo purposes. So I have pepper, cracked black pepper, wonderful. You could use white pepper too um, if you'd like, so you don't have these little black specks in it, which is helpful. But the problem with white pepper is it's much stronger, about three times probably, I think, than the black pepper. So if you're going to use it, Use it very cautiously because you don't want to, you know, make it so it burns, you know, too, too hot, overpowering. But it is good in its uses. Okay, so now we have these two seasoned here. What we want to do is we dredge them in the flour. And obviously this is a boneless, skinless, you know, there's no bones in it for our guests. We already checked that. So when we're dredging, we're not coating it like we're deep frying here. I mean, we just want to, you know, cover the outside. And what that does is, because this is a white meat, you know, like chicken or, you know, pork, same things we would do is we dredge it in flour to help with the browning process. So in red meat, you don't have to do that. It's got, you know, the iron in the blood, it's going to brown on its own. But we don't want to have all this, you know, clumping up, this flour absorbing the oil and getting all punky and, you know, clotting. So what you do is you have to hit off the excess. Just say, you know, spank it a little bit get off that excess. So it just has that dusting of flour on the outside. Okay, we'll do it with the second one here. And this is to dry the moisture too and to get a little bit more on the crisp side. All right, so we make sure it's got covered all the way. That's going to help facilitate the browning process. All right, so we've got our pan over here. I'm going to start with a little bit of oil. And then for flavor and color, we're going to put a little bit of this clarified butter in there. It still has a little bit of moisture in it, a little milk solids. So you can hear that, you know, sizzling there, evaporation. All right, so I'll bring it over here so you can see it. Presentation side down, which is the side that had the skin, so that will be the best looking side. And put it in, when you put it in, put it away from you so when you drop it, if it does splash, splashes away from you, not on you. Again, flat side is the presentation side, not the jagged one where it was cut off the bones. Put that down first because that's the hottest the pan is and it's going to give it the best color. And that's the side we're going to serve up facing our guests or customers. All right, this is going to be quick, maybe a couple minutes, minute, minute and a half on each side. So get it nice and brown. You'll see it crisping. If you want about medium high heat, right? We don't have to worry about the butter burning until we make our sauce, which is when we're going to use this whole butter in here to make our sauce with the lemon juice. Okay. So I have a plate here. I'm just going to put the fillets on it for now, and then I'll, I'll set up a show plate. Okay, they're cooking up nice. You can see that. And I'm about to turn them. 
So I have a slotted spatula. They call these you know, sometimes a fish spatula. It's good because when you pick it up, the grease doesn't come with it, and you turn it, it gets splashed. So um, they're kind of handy. They're pretty cheap. I'll put a link down in the comments section in case you want to get one if you cook a lot of fish or anything with oil and grease in it. All right, I'll take a peek underneath it. Oh, it looks wonderful. Turn it over. Okay, you can see it again. All right, let that finish cooking. Move these out of the way. Okay, these look great. I think they're done. Turn off the heat here. Okay, and I'm going to show you both sides so you can see these. One side has the, you know, the flat side up, which you could use if you want, or you could turn them over. It has a nice little round side. So you pick your best side, the best color. Okay, we'll put this on the plate. Okay, now I'm going to just pour out this excess oil. Not going to wipe it out or anything, just leave all that. I just want to get rid of some of that oil and clarified butter. We're going to put in our whole butter. This is the part where it's going to get noisette, or brown butter. It's going to happen pretty quick. We're going to use the whole butter. Okay, and I'll make this recipe for four. I just have it for two now. So we would put in our butter, and we're going to swirl it around. It's going to turn brown. We're going to hit it with some lemon and some parsley, and that's going to be our dish. So let me put that in right now. Not going to take very long. Meantime, I'm going to squirt a little lemon on these fish. Give them a little acid already into their flour. Okay, you can see this butter is starting to brown. Uh, you can see that. Okay, we just let it keep cooking here. You know, our heat is up there medium high, so it's not going to take long. Then you'll smell it. It'll start to get a little toasty smell to it. Right now it's just kind of like regular melted butter. When it gets really hot, we're going to squeeze some lemon into it, hit it with this parsley. I'm going to pour it right over the fish and you're going to get to see it. Okay, this is done. It's nice and brown in there. Hard to see it with the black pan, but it's definitely brown. I'm going to take it off the heat, put some lemon in there. See it splattering, take it off the heat, throw in some parsley. Okay, swirl it around, and then over it goes. And that's it. And you can see why this is really quick. So you're going to serve it right away. You see that? So this is a quick dish. Proof is in the pudding. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. The fish is so fresh, it's hard to go wrong right, with the fish, but you get that lemon in there, that nutty, you know, nuttiness of that brown butter. Obviously, the lemon gives it that sharpness, and we have that, you know, richness of the fat from the clarified butter in there. It's awesome. Okay, and that's it. So that recipe was for you, Joel, from Maine, one of our community members who asked me to do more seafood dishes. And I'm going to do more of these because you asked. So any of you out there want to see something specific, want me to do, definitely send me an email, drprofessorchef at gmail.com or throw it in the comments section. I get alerted when the comments come in and I'll definitely try to add that to for, for a future show. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We would appreciate it. More people, the more numbers that I get, the more know that I'm on the right track. Okay? Till next time, bye bye, take care.